Hi guys, we've been covering story after story about British businesses being forced to make very difficult decisions post-Brexit. Try and stay as you are and hope things will get better, or move some or all of your operations out of Great Britain to either Northern Ireland or an EU member state. The uncertainty surrounding a company's ability to access the staff they need and import raw materials or parts for their final product, or to even export without problems into the single market, has all got worse over the last number of years, and is expected to be impacted more as we move further into a post-Brexit world. These issues have dented investment, but another post-Brexit problem has arisen which will make supporters of leaving the EU even more uncomfortable. Regulations. Here Brad Smith, the president of Microsoft, told the BBC how the EU, not the UK, is a more attractive place for business. Clear message here. The European Union is a more attractive place to start a business if you want someday to sell it than the United Kingdom. What is the impact on the UK? Unfortunately, I think it's bad for Britain. And for all of us who had some hope that post-Brexit, the UK would construct a structure that would even be more flexible, that would be better for investment, better for technology, we're now finding that the opposite appears to be true. And it leaves people thinking that actually the process in Brussels worked far better than what we're now addressing in London. Just two weeks ago, we thought we had answered every question that the CMA panel had put to us. And we specifically said, if you have any other questions or if you have any other concerns, please let us know. We want to address them. And they went silent. We heard nothing from them. This is not the way regulators in Brussels work with companies. You have more of a conversation. And so I think investments flow to places where people have confidence in the way laws and regulations work. This decision, I have to say, is probably the darkest day in our four decades in Britain. It does more to shake our confidence in the future of the opportunity to grow a technology business in Britain than we've ever confronted before. Governments around the world have approved this deal. We've had a lengthy process with the European Commission in Brussels. We submitted to the European Commission proposals to address the same issues that have arisen in London. And what is most striking to me is that the English Channel has never seemed wider in terms of Europe as a continent being attractive to investment, Brussels as a place where one can sit down and actually have a conversation with the regulators who are accountable to the elected leaders and the difference we now confront in London where we have regulators who are not only unelected but unaccountable and now making decisions that just feel fundamentally unwise. The big problem here, of course, is that on the European side, you have, as he has pointed out here, a willingness to sit down with businesses, large corporations, Microsoft, Apple, Google, whoever, and present, okay, these are the regulations that we want to push and what is your feedback? Give us your feedback. Give us your input when uh, when it comes to the decision making. Because we want to protect consumers. We want to protect um, the, the single market, for example. We want to protect property rights, um, intellectual property rights. We want to protect data, things like this, people's data, people's privacy. And what we need to do is we need to have robust regulations for um, for the area of technology, for example. And what the European Commission do is they invite these companies to present their evidence, present their point of view, and it's taken on board. But what he's, point, what he's talking about here when it comes to Britain is that the regulators are not actually sitting down with business leaders and formulating the regulation around, well, including the input from these business leaders. It seems to be a top-down approach instead. You, know, you have a Tory minister who says, okay, these are the regulations we're going to get rid of, or these are the regulations we're going to put in place, and business has to follow that. Or what seems to be with Brexiteers, we strip out a lot of regulations because we think it's good for business. But as we know, businesses need certainty. And this idea that 
Jacob Rees-Mogg was pushing it earlier on in the year that we're going to get rid of all these EU rules and EU laws creates even more uncertainty. So businesses want certainty. They want to be sure that whatever the rules are today, they're going to be the same tomorrow. If they're going to change, that they're part of the decision-making process, or at least they have some sort of input when it comes to the decision of changing these rules or how these rules are changed or how the regulations are, are updated. The UK used to be the driving force in the European Union when it came to certain regulations. Now it's sitting on the sidelines. And as the world is more and more in the, of the idea that we need to copy EU laws and EU regulations because they're the gold standard, it means that if the UK does not follow through with that as well, it's going to be left behind. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.